I think we are live. Mm. Are we live? Which is fine here. Aditya, are we live? Hello. Are we live? You're supposed to message in the group. Okay. All right. Hi, guys. I hope all of you guys are doing good. And now I'm having an absolute pleasure to introduce to you all of you guys, Dr. Sri Janani, who has passed this FMG July 2025 with an excellent score of 200. Dr. Janani, many congratulations for this wonderful victory of yours. How are you feeling now? Thank you so much, Doc. I am feeling very much happy and pleasant, actually, and okay. shocked as well. <laughs> Shocked by I think you're one of the hardworking students that I know. I don't know. Doc. You are shocked like you did not expect it this much, or you shocked because I got less. I should have got 250. <laughs> no, Doc. I was shocked that I got too much. Oh no, no, no. You're being so humble, I can say. I think uh, the score is a sheer mirror of what you have been doing. Uh, in your college. Tell us about your journey of the college, from which college you have passed and from where do you belong? How did it all start? Uh, so, I'm from Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu and uh, I studied uh, medicine mm -hmm. in uh, Davo Medical School from the Philippines. Okay. And uh, it was, it was, actually the journey was all nice up until uh, when I heard of the FMG news and everything. Uh, mm. At the fourth year only, I actually started my preparation at the end of the fourth year, actually. Right. So I was uh, too much in panic and everything. Mm. So I literally started my preparation from uh, properly from February after mm. I graduated. Mm. So I just uh, increased my studying time after that, maybe okay. after the exam. Yeah. That's it. All right. All right. Great. Great. So uh, for your preparation, whenever you used to be in doubt, like during your preparation, you many students will be having you know a lot of self doubt and whether I'm going on the right direction or not. Uh, what was your uh, take on that? How did you handle that self doubt uh, thing? There was a lot of self doubt. There is uh, no question in that doc, of course. And I was whenever I just lose confidence. Of course, my friends and family were there to mm. support and just to say someone who believed in me. Mm. So I got that confidence from them actually. Okay. So it just helped me a lot, and I just took one, uh, took some moment to pause sometimes, mm. and then again start the journey. Okay, great, very nice. How did PW help in your journey of yours? Uh, I I solved the uh, Q banks and the GT from the app, so okay. that I think that helped a lot, and okay. uh, also the staff videos also which I really liked it. Okay, very nice, very nice. And were you able to access the rapid revision section of the PW, which was conducted on YouTube in the very last uh, month of the examination? Yes, Doc, which was really helpful. I really liked it. I, I watched it, all the videos in that. Okay, very nice, very nice. Because that is a cumulative, uh, you know, uh, structure of everything because uh, whatever that you have read in the last five, six months, it's not possible to revise the entire thing in 10, 15 days. But when you go through RR, right, it sums up many things. And would you recommend anyone to go through RR without going through the regular notes? Any source. Like you have also used one source for regular class. RR killing, you have used another source. So would you do you think ki some students are preferring only RR? So do you think it will be helpful if they go through only RR? I really, now coming to think of that, I really don't think that would be helpful because uh, mm -hmm. the questions started to get very hard each year, I guess. Mm -hmm. So only RR wouldn't be possible. If mm -hmm. you studied from start or uh, any normal classes and then you go for RR, it will be like a, a rapid revision as it says. But right. just only RR, I, I don't think it will be helpful, Doc. It will be possible, right? So uh, t tell me, because um, your college, you said Philippines, right? 
Yes, Doc. In college, I think I have been to your college also, if you remember. Yes, yeah. Doc. So, uh, tell me the medical education over there. It's like, uh, I'm just asking, कि बच्चों को थोड़ा आइडिया रहे कि ऐसा नहीं कि ऑल ऑफ़ ए सडन यू गोट दिस स्कोर देर इज सम बैकग्राउंड नॉलेज सो हाउ वाज द मेडिकल कॉलेज करिकुलम डू यू थिंक द कॉलेज वाज एबल टू गिव यू इनफ नॉलेज इनफ डेटा आई आई गेस आई गेस दैट वुड प्ले अ रोल आल्सो डॉग बिकॉज uh from first year it was online for me so i didn't really yeah, much okay 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 yeah, so second year third year so from second year onwards we had regular uh, offline classes so from that moment only from second year only we i guess all of us started to have this uh, seriousness on studies and exams we took seriously because we have to give it offline right, so right, from right. that and, and uh, it, yes yes please 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 continue it, yes doc and uh, of course it helped the uh, it played a role in the exams too very nice very nice and what about your clinical postings and all that it, tell me about that because i have heard a lot about it and even from other students also your seniors also they have been my student i've heard a lot about it uh, tell me about the clinical exposure because uh, why i'm asking this what it has to do with fmg you see whatever you have done in your uh, ug that means during mbbs if you have solved the question during examination also you must have realized ki i can solve this just by the knowledge of what i have got from my mbbs college right yes, stop. question many clinical question so tell me about that clinical exposure how is that i have heard a lot good things about it yeah it's like uh, uh, for example the trauma cases which we see in the clerkship postings mm. i uh, the epinephrine they give when uh, and the cardio version and the uh, you know the chest compressions and everything mm. uh which they asked in the exams and we did okay. everything that uh okay. i saw them giving epinephrine i did the chest compressions on the patients okay. so i think this all helped uh in the in the exam actually because okay. everything theoretically it wouldn't help if we just mug up everything uh okay. if we have clinical exposure of course it will be like uh, it's a, it it will really help in that right right absolutely correct absolutely correct tell me how many full length gt have you given uh i i guess i gave like eight maybe six six to eight maybe six to eight and what was your average score let's not talk about the platform let's talk about what was the average score so average score i got from like 130 from starting mm -hmm. and i reached until 185 in the gts the gt that you gave prior to examination let's say in the second or first week of july did you give any gt yes doc i gave what first in the first the week last, of july last week, the uh, last most gt i i think i got a score of around 170 or 165 to 175 score in that somewhere between that you got yeah. this time yes, i think you have done less changing of the answer and a less silly mistakes and yes. uh, that is how you have got and uh, your examination in your college also uh, what i know from the system because i have been observing the college since uh, you know many years i have been teaching your seniors since many years so the examination is also mcq based no you don't have that essay based right no doc it's all mcq based We... right so yes, you already have completely. a practice of uh, uh, you know solving mcqs and that definitely help during uh, you know mbbs what do you say about it yeah of course doc because uh, we wrote it as an mcq computer based exams most mm -hmm. of our exams so i think uh, uh, the real exam is also was like that so i i think uh, it didn't really we didn't have any panic because of the uh, shift in computer like that and all so i mm -hmm. think it helped okay okay uh, while preparation maybe many of the time you must have come across the time that you feel completely burnt out yaar i have been doing classes since morning till evening then i have to revise then morning again doctor will teach me how am i going to adapt with this did you had any such incident while residing in your campus of course doc i i really every time i wake up i'll be like do i really have to go to class i didn't even re revise the yesterday's topic do i have to go to class i would think every time but mm. i think i just pushed it through 
you can do it or something like that yeah. and my friends also pushed me through it so i think that helped we just helped each other in that like yeah. revising things very nice very nice and uh, your camp uh, i mean your um, batch all, all all your batchmates stayed at the same place uh most of uh, most of the students stay, uh, stayed at the same place and where, most where of them were from? online where did you prepare from uh, actually from the king's institute from uh, our college suggested in class in chennai right uh, mahabalipuram yeah. yeah okay 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 so that is the one of the best uh, campus that we actually go and um, tell me about the campus uh, how do you what other thing did you like about it i guess the overall place which was nice which was re uh, really spacious and all and the food was also really adaptable for us and uh, uh, rooms also which was nice and the classroom setups acs i think it was comfortable oh, I love visiting that place and whenever we visit and you know, that looked like uh, less of a campus more of a you know luxurious uh, you know yeah. resort you are staying in a resort kind of scenario and uh, i think student also are getting everything in one campus so that is one uh, very important role uh, you know which plays while you are preparing you don't have to worry about who is going to bring my food whether my food is hygienic or not you don't have to worry whether you know my wifi is working or not whether i paid the bill of wifi or not and uh, everything is sorted you just have to focus on the study so that also plays a very good role compared to uh, my student those who are also they are from delhi and other places let's say hyderabad delhi and other places so they uh, those who are staying on their own Th that is one uh, you know one of the problem that i heard from them he, you know food problem plus when you stay outside uh, you know the problem with the food hygiene the problem with uh, getting sick that is also there so because when you are uh, 200 students are staying together maybe sometime you also must have uh, uh, felt sick but that is one only once in a while compared to yes, other sir. students who are staying you know outside so that is also one of the role i think i personally think he that uh, played in uh, you know the entire journey for any student those who passed from their campus right yes doc i think uh, i think it would be yes yes okay tell me a couple of more uh, thing about uh, your preparation uh, we used to give uh, you notes right so yes, do you doc. have to write by yourself or you wait for someone else to give me the handout no i used to write by myself i mm -hmm. used to write in ipad sometimes or uh, a few subjects i did in the actual workbook uh, the physical okay. physical book mm -hmm. um, so i i read i write it by myself because yes, sir, i yes. liked it that way mm -hmm. because uh, we always used to say in class also know that uh, when you write it that becomes a form of revision yes when you write it that becomes a form of revision okay so that is absolutely good i guess so Uh, apart from that if i ask you a couple of more question if you are comfortable mainly with respect to uh, you know the insecurities that i ask you that insecurities comes and goes insecurities comes and goes now that thing is not there at all you have gone through this entire thing and you are already on the runway runway means and uh, you were taking trying to take entry on the runway but you are not getting the passport now you have been granted a passport you have entered the runway now you are going to fly as high as you can as fast as you can what is your dream branch after this doctor i have always liked surgery doc from the very mm -hmm. starting which got mm -hmm. me into this field actually mm -hmm. so i think surgery is my one thing i always keep in my mind and apart from that i i don't really give, give it a thought apart Are from surgery gynecological surgery or general surgery uh general surgery doc general surgery okay so yes. you are one of them that is going to be the best surgeon of coimbatore i believe in the coming days and a proud you. alumnus of uh, you know davao medical college that is going to be you know very nice very nice i think you guys are getting lot of exposure also no in uh, your uh, final year of medical school yes doc we uh, we had plenty of expo uh, exposures in all the with respect uh, to surgery and getting free hand on the patient yes uh, yeah. we had we as we can able to assess the surgeries uh, which uh, which uh, they had in that uh, particular time 
Okay, very nice, very nice. Um, many of your juniors are listening to you from Davao. Some of them are listening, you know, from India. Those who are coming to India, tell me one thing. What is one advice that you would like to give to them? That what all things that they should do to get this done. What all things you do, you know, in a summarized form that they should do to get this done, just like you, on a two hundred plus. Uh. Actually, I didn't really much of a topper from the beginning and all. I mm. just studied from February, as uh, as I said. So mm. I don't know if I think just being consistent is one thing, mm. and uh, also believe uh, believe uh, in yourself, and also believe the faculties who teach uh, who teaches you, and uh, just trust the process and the schedule they give is uh, more in uh, much uh, it's much much more enough i guess because mm -hmm. if you uh, if we do uh, our own schedule we we tend to uh, change it or do something so just trust the uh, schedules they give and uh, follow according to that mm -hmm. and uh, also just trust the process and be consistent with whatever you do and uh, have have your own style i would say in studying also because uh, i tend to look others and see how they are studying and uh, i tried their way of studying which didn't really work out for me actually uh, so i had my own way of studying and i think everyone should just accept that and uh, do according to that so that really brings out their way and uh, it also increases their score and uh, productivity hmm. Very nice, very nice. So the way you have summarized everything, they have to be consistent, find their own learning style the way they are, and uh, keep revising, keep giving GT on time. And yes. uh, at times, a student might feel you know insecure about themselves whether they are doing right or wrong. So it just they don't have to fall apart. Trust the process you said. Yes, and doc. I think um, most of the faculties that are reaching out to you in your campus and in your classes also, or maybe you are attending online classes also, many people must have said this, trust the process, right? Once you have got into the process, it is going to help you out and you are going to get through this one, right? Yes, and I'm very glad that I spoke to you and I connected with you and you have given this interview. Thank you very much and best wishes to you for your upcoming uh, journey, all right? Henceforth, sky will be your limit, I can say that. Thank you so much, Doc. Thank you. Thank you. All the way. Thank you, Doc. I'm glad too.